Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongstaborn, Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a very, very sad Theme Park News update where today we're going to be talking about Wicksteed Park and it's not really an update I really wanted to do after the M&Ds video last month but it has been officially announced that Wicksteed Park has gone into administration after 99 years of operation next year will be their 100th anniversary um, and there's a whole, you know, campaign to try and fund the park open again and try and set, set up a separate company and things like that. So I'm going to talk about all of that uh, in the official statement from the park. And I'm going to give you guys a history lesson on Wicksteed Park as well for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what Wicksteed Park is. So before we get started, please like the video if you've loved it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. Cut the notification bell so you never miss any more theme park content. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question uh, for our subscriber Q&A when we celebrate, if we celebrate 2,000 subscribers very, very soon. Uh, obviously, all the questions will be marked down for that video. And for now, guys, let's get into this video and let's start with the official statement from Wicksteed Park. So Wicksteed Park have officially announced that they've gone into administration due to months of uncertainty and difficulty from the coronavirus pandemic. According to BBC News, Wicksteed Park in Kettering, Northamptonshire, owned by the Wicksteed Charitable Trust, which has backed the formation of a new smaller company with the aim of raising funds to reopen the park. The chairman of the trust, Oliver Wicksteed, said we are all devastated. The move into administration has resulted in the loss of 48 permanent staff and 67 part-time and other jobs. The charitable trust said it would try to keep the free playgrounds and parkland open and the pavilion for forthcoming bookings when government guidelines allow indoor events. It is hoped the new streamlined company will keep the park operating until spring next year when it aims to reopen for its cent centenary. Mr. Wicksteed, who is the grandson of Charles Wicksteed, said he fully appreciates the effect this decision will have on staff members who have already been through months of uncertainty and difficulty. He said we are working hard to ensure they have access to the support and advice they need. The reality is without urgent sufficient support, Wicksteed Park will not survive as we know it. Mr. Wicksteed said the cost of business was crippling and if the park opened fully next month, the costs of social distancing measures in a reduced capacity would have meant it would be unlikely to be financially viable. He added that apart from the furlough scheme, there has been no meaningful government support for charities such as ours. Pop star turned local vicar Richard Coles tweeted to say it was a sad day as Wicksteed had been the pleasure dome of my childhood. Wicksteed Park opened in Kettering, Northamptonshire, England in 1921. The park was founded by Charles Wicksteed, the son of a Unitarian minister of the same name and his wife Jane Lupton. Charles Jr. set up Charles Wicksteed & Co. Limited in 1876 based in Digby Street in Kettering, which produced items such as the first hydraulic hacksaw, the original automatic gearbox, sewing machines, wooden toys and power drills, and in 1913 he purchased a tract of Northamptonshire Meadowland nearby with the intention of developing a model village. He wants to create an open space and safe parkland for local families. To celebrate the end of the First World War, his factory purposely removed a number of central heating pipes from its premises and used them to build swings for children, creating the first commercial playground. The success of the initiative eventually led to the founding of Wicksteed Playscapes, the world's first playground manufacturing company which is still operating. His main bequest was Wicksteed Park. The park's fame spread far and wide as special trains and shurabanks were brought visitors from an ever widening area. Wicksteed Park was the second leisure park in the UK and has been copied many times since. Upon the death of Charles Wicksteed, the board trustees were determined to continue his work. Open all year round, the children's playground is the largest free facility of its kind in Europe. Of historical interest, the water chutes, which was built in 1926, Having undergone major renovation in 2002, it is the oldest working ride in the UK. The park has a narrow gorge railway which runs around the lake. And the park is owned by the Wicksteed Charitable Trust, a registered charity set up by Charles Wicksteed in 1916 and run by Wicksteed Park Limited. The attractions in Wicksteed Park were divided into four themed areas. The playground. Immediately on entering the park, there is the free playground. The fairground, which contained rides for children up to 13 to 14. In this area included the Fun Palace Arcade, and rides included the Sway Rider, Laser Extreme, 
Cup and Saucers, Carousel, Mini Jets, Crazy Golf, Putting Green, Dodgems, Astroglide, Rocking Tug, Lighthouse, Wiki's Inflatable, Roundabout, Clarence the Coaster and Rush. The lakeside area predominantly featured rides themed around water such as the rowing boats and it was also home to the monorail, Mr Wicksteed veteran cars and the famous and historic water chute. And the arena area contains many of the park's larger rides like the revolving paratrooper, ladybird coaster, roller coaster and a log flume called Rocky River Falls containing intense theming. Other rides include the racing cars and the honeypot bears. In order to enjoy the attractions, visitor, visitors could purchase an, an in, either tickets or an all-day unlimited ride wristband. There was an aviary, a meerkat exhibit, sand pit and boating on the lake to complement the other attractions. The 30-acre lake is populated by swans, geese, ducks and peacocks. Caravan and camping facilities were also offered on the 16-acre of land right at the heart of the park. The park had its own mascot since March 2000 called Wiki Bear, and it also had three other characters, Kerry the Koala, Charlie the Dog and Pong the Panda. The four animals could be regularly spotted walking around the park greeting the guests. Throughout the UK summer holidays when the rides and attractions were in full operation, there was usually a Wiki Bear show on the park's outdoor stage where the four characters could be seen performing together. The park had a free weekly timed 5km park run at 9am every Sunday and a Guy Fawkes night display annually. The 2 metre narrow gorge Wicksteed Park Railway was one of the most iconic features of the park. Over 15 million have taken to its rail since it first opened in 1931. The last feature of the park to be added during the lifetime of the park's founder Charles Wicksteed and was supported by the friends of the Wicksteed Park Railway. They also offered programs of study based on key stages 1 to 4. A nature trail was also offered, a little over 2 kilometers in length and featured many different activity points. In terms of coasters at the park, the roller coaster which opened in 1992 was an RC40 manufactured by Pinfari. It had a length of 1066.3 feet, a height of 36.1 feet, a speed of 28 miles per hour and it all completed the circuit during a 55 second duration. In 1999 the park opened the Ladybird which was a small Sierra Tivoli coaster with a length of 197.5 feet, a height of 10.8 feet, a speed of 16.2 miles per hour and it included a booster wheel lift hill. The Clown Coaster, which opened in 2011, was also manufactured by Pinfari, and it was also the, the former Circus Clown Coaster that used to operate at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, this coaster operated at previous places as well. It operated, first of all, at Harbour Park in West Sussex, which has been operating since 1932. It then moved to Blackpool Pleasure Beach before 1989, and it closed in 2008. This was in the old. This would be. This would have been prior to the area being rethemed as Beaver Creek. Now, when the coaster was removed from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, it was moved down to Wicksteed Park to operate as the Circus Clown. The park also had three other defunct roller coasters. They had a Pinfari coaster uh, somewhere in 1988 with a loop inversion. Wicksteed Park also had a Zyklon slash Galaxy coaster between 1989 and 1990 and it also had a kids coaster painted green. So Wicksteed Park has a lot of history behind it. So that right there is the history and the whole situation surrounding Wicksteed Park. Now, my first thought is with the staff. I, I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry that you've, you've lost your job. Um, I really hope that you get reinstated if the park, you know, has the money to, uh, from the people donating to, um, you know, reopen the park next year. And I hope you get your job back. Um, and I hope you, I hope you do get your job back. I really hope you do. And if not, I hope you find another job because uh, you didn't deserve this. It, this coronavirus has just, it's hit every everything, everything and everyone, from rich to poor to everyone. And um, you know it's a shame to it's it's a shame we could potentially lose another park. Obviously M and D's, you know they were they've got they're in the administration period. Of course they've had to set up another company and try and you know build up the funds and reopen the park again. Um, you know next year hopefully. Um, but you know Wicksteed Park, of course it's owned by the Wicksteed Charitable Trust. So what I'm gonna do 
to help you guys out at Wicksteed, in the description down below, you can donate to a Just Giving page, uh, which is basically raising the funds necessary to operate the park uh, and, and build the park up next year and open it in the spring. Um, so, in the link in the description down below, go and donate to that Just Giving page and let's support Wicksteed Park in trying to uh, reopen next year for their 100th anniversary. Um, but like I said, this is a sad story. Now, if they don't find the funds, what happens to the park? Well, obviously the park is free to enter. No matter what's happened, they've always been free to enter and it's just they've charged for the rides. Um, the Water Shoe is a grade listed attraction. You can't demolish it. So, if the park does close, then all they can do is remove the rides and leave the water chute to rot or someone individually uh, and you know independently puts the money together and the maintenance money to operate the water chute as its own attraction rather than part of Wicksteed Park um, but it won't be demolished the water chute won't be demolished it's a listed attraction it won't be demolished it'll either be independently run which you know if the park doesn't get saved I'm hoping someone buys the water chute and independently runs it with the money um, or it'll just be left to rot and it'll just be left to crumble itself um, until un until the UK doesn't list it anymore and then they can demolish it um, so it's a very sad situation I I'm honestly I'm struggling to to film this video because you know our UK theme park industry is going down the drain because of this pandemic and um, I saw something on that BBC News report that said the government didn't exactly help towards the charitable trust. How dare you? How dare you? I know that you've got a virus to fight. I know you've got vaccinations to build. But you said you were going to offer businesses, small businesses, money to help them stay afloat. Clearly you didn't help Wicksteed. Clearly you didn't. They're a small business. They're a, chari they're a charitable trust. They're a charitable trust, they're a small business, and you're not helping them. They 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 fall under the category of small businesses. They fall under the category of those you need to give a little bit of money towards to help them stay afloat. But you didn't. You didn't. And now they're in administration, they're laying people off. There's a small company being set up to try and keep the park alive. They're having to manage and they're having to trust people to give their own money to help the park survive and you guys up at top at Downing Street didn't do jack to help a small business stay afloat like you were promising it's, it's just oh this is tough this is this is tough I've never been to the park I haven't got any memories of the park but I feel so passionate about small parks that are being closed down Put into administration because other because people couldn't do jack to help them in the first place. If they were in financial trouble, help them before it's too late. Small businesses getting a little bit of money here and there to help them stay afloat. You didn't, and now they're going under. And if we don't donate the right amount of money to help them, the park's going to close. Even before it hits 100, it'll close after 99 years of operation. And that's tragic. That's sad. That's really, really sad because we're losing these theme parks and attractions and zoos as well and water parks and everything like that. Everything to do with tourism and attractions and leisure industry and entertainment industry. They help Britain smile. Every single time an attraction closes because of this pandemic, because the government didn't give any money to help them, because they couldn't financially run them, it takes part of that smile away from the country and you know as I said there the government didn't help the charitable trust keep the park afloat so if anyone's to blame for this I'm directing it at the government I'm directing it at you because you should have given a little bit of money to help them and you didn't so I blame you for this um, but like I said we as genuinely good people which some of the government are not good people but we as good people can help the park like I said before description down below just giving page donate and help Wicksteed Park help them 
get open next year in the spring for their 100th anniversary. Let's keep those rides going. Yes, they may not be outstanding rides on a world-class scale, but they're great rides. They're fantastic rides, and we're just letting them go. With Every single minute, we're letting them go. And one thing I will say that's quite surprising is that I really didn't expect Wix Depart to go into administration because they've invested in recent years. They've done some really good investments over the recent years. They invested in a zip wire a few years ago. They invested in uh, some climbing equipment last year. So, and, the, and of course, they updated their pavilion. You know, there was a news report on BBC News last year that they updated their pavilion entrance. And that, and that looked brilliant. That had some really nice colour scheme going on with it. <laughs> Excuse me. I just... It, it's just a sad situation. And I really want... Once this whole thing is over, I want all of us to go out and support our local parks and our small parks. Let's get them financially run again. You know, your Light Water Valleys, your Drayton Manors, your Oakwoods, your Wicksteeds, M&Ds, if they get back open as well. You know... Just, as well as the big parks like Alton, Thorpe, Chessington, Poultons, Blackpool. As well as the bigger parks, let's support those small parks. Let's get them the money back up again. And it's not just the ones I've mentioned. There's other ones as well. Sundown Adventureland, Kids Park. If you've got kids, if you've got your families, take them there. Wheelgate, they've got a great park. Twin Lakes, they've got a great park. All the parks in the UK are fantastic in their own right. Adventure Island in South End. Barry Island in Wales. All of them in the UK are fantastic at what they do in their own way. So, go out and support them. If once this virus is over, those that are open, go and support them. And I would... Now, there was a report on Pleasure Island that apparently the Pleasure Island site is could be used for some kind of, like, leisure park. Um, I think there was a... Rep I saw somewhere about Camelot as well. You know, I would... If I was in charge of a, a chain with millions and millions of pounds that wants to build like a theme park chain in the UK, I would buy Pleasure Island, I would buy Camelot, I would battle for an American Adventure site. Obviously, that's already been decided for Shipley Lakeside Project, but, you know, there's not really been any construction on that, so I would try and battle for the signature for that if it's not too late. I would buy all these closed parks in the UK, Loudoun Castle, uh, Wicksteed if it's closing, M&Ds if it's got no chance of opening again. I would buy all these park sites and I'd build them up to be fantastic parks in their own right. You know, Livingst Livingstone Leisure. You know, buy Wicksteed if you've got the money. Buy Wicksteed, add it to Lightwater Valley and Flambards and invest in all three parks. Um, obviously, now, I did mention in the previous video on the UK parks that there was a, a tweet gone out that a park is up for sale with around 30 rising attractions. Is Wicksteed going to fit the bill? Is someone going to buy Wicksteed if the offer was if, if the offer was there? You know, is it just... Obviously, the news has come out now that Wicksteed's an administration. You know, is that because they were looking to buy the park and they want to officially release a statement? Well, what's happening with the park? Um, was Wicksteed cut possibly up for buying you know is Wicksteed not going to get bought is the char charitable trust just going to raise the money itself you know there's a lot of questions that could still be answered but what I will say is if this is the last time that we'll talk about Wicksteed Park and if it's the last time Wicksteed Park will open or operate then you know rest in peace Wicksteed Park we've lost another UK park and it's just unfortunate so Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you've got any memories of Wicksteed Park, share them in the comments down below and share your anger at the government for not helping put money towards keeping it afloat. Because uh, I know I'm angry. I'm absolutely livid with the government for this. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep it on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. I've got a video coming soon from Seattle San Antonio uh, on two new attractions for 2021. Cheers, guys. Have an awesome day.